Hi, I'm Dave from boynaband.com and today I'll be reviewing the AxeFX Ultra by Fractal Audio. I recently bought my AxeFX Ultra after doing a lot of research online. It was supposedly the big thing that all guitarists and home studio owners had been looking for, a way to sound like a high quality tube amp without actually having to pay for a high quality tube amp. That and pretty much every effect under the sun that you could imagine for a guitar. But is it worth it? In this video, I'll be looking at the XFX Ultra and seeing if it lives up to the hype. Features and versatility. This is a fun place to start for anyone who has gas. For those who don't know, gas is gear acquisition syndrome, where you can never have enough gear. For me, it finally cured my gas where guitars are concerned, with over 50 amp models, 39 cabinets, 10 microphones, 17 drive models, 12 reverb, dozens of delays, modulation, EQ, pitch control, intelligent harmony, tremolo, wah, compressor, gate, precision tuner, swappable tone stack, two rigs at once, custom IR player, and effects loop, as standard for the XFX. But mine is the XFX Ultra, which also gets an arpeggiator, <laughs> Synth effects. Vocoder. Hi, I'm Dave from boynaband.com, and this is the Axe Effects Ultra's Vocoder function. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah. Let's try it on a really high string. Yeah, this is a really high string. Now let's try it on a low drop tune string. Yay. Yay. Next, please. Looper. Multiband compressor, ring modulator, quad chorus, diffuser. Resonator, crossover, more complex delay, and pitch based effects. Back to those amp models, they range massively from high gain Mesa and Engel simulations. to Rocky and Marshalls. And even an old school Vox AC30 with top boost. There are also some great amps in there for clean work. as well as an Ampeg SVT simulation for all those bassists out there. Basically, chances are you'll find what you want on this thing. The XFX is absolutely filled with features, it'll be quite a while before you run out of things to try with it. With all these features, it can be used in a variety of different ways, as an entire guitar rig simulation, just an amp plugged into a cabinet, 
or as a crazily versatile multi-effects unit. It's great for in the studio, but I've also read lots of things on Tinternet where people have said that they've used it live with great success. Some people even plug it straight into the PA, saving the need to carry a heavy cabinet up unnecessarily large numbers of stairs. I think we've all been there. Just remember, you'll need a power amp if you're going to use it live. Or it won't be very loud. Usability. I think if I was to comment negatively on the XFX at all, it would have to be on the user interface. But thinking about it, I don't know how I could possibly produce a better interface than the one they've got, with such a small screen and with so many features in there. What I'm trying to say is it's going to take a bit of learning. The presets are great and have apparently got better on each firmware upgrade. Those upgrades are free by the way, more on that later. But the best tones will no doubt be created by yourself, since you probably know what you like more than the axe does. Though I'm sure a mind reading effects unit will be added in a future firmware upgrade. Even though it's small, the screen does the job. And after a few hours of playing with it, I feel comfortable making new patches. When you get the hang of switching between pages, it starts to feel like a natural process. One thing I really like is when you change the amp you're simulating, unlike other amp simulations, it doesn't change all the other knobs as well, like a bass, treble and all that, and that means you can make a more objective decision about which amp sounds better for what you want. The manual is pretty concise, and mine came with a quick start guide which is even more so. But there's a wiki page online with even more information, including all the makes of the amps and cabinets it simulates. Fractal Audio are also creating a piece of software for it. For those of you who prefer using computers or find the screen a bit too restricting and fiddly. It's called Axe Edit and at current it's still in beta testing, so it's not quite perfected yet. But the screenshots look pretty exciting. It's another thing that Fractal Audio are working on and giving away for free, in addition to everything else that comes with the Axe. It's not got a USB interface by the way. You'll have to make sure you've got a couple of MIDI cables handy if you want to connect your Axe to the computer. Quality. I have absolutely nothing bad to say about the Axe where quality is concerned. Every amp sounds professional. It's like having a knowledgeable studio engineer who's obsessed with guitar tone in a small black box, but without the criminal charges. I'll do a proper comparison video at some point, but suffice to say that this is the real deal. I can't tell the difference between this and a real amp. Value. Now I paid just over £1900 for my Axe of X Ultra from g66.eu. They're currently the only distributor in Europe. Shipping was included in that, and it comes with a 15 day money back guarantee, so you can make sure it's as good as you hoped it would be. Suffice to say after 15 days with it, I had no intention of letting mine go. It might seem like a hefty price tag, but let's break it down. There are over 50 amp sims on this. If we divide the cost by that number, then that would be 1900 divided by 50, which is £38 for each high-end amp. And that's just the amps, how about the cabs, the mics, the effects, and everything else you'd need to get that professional sound if the axe didn't exist. As well as the fact that everything is in one place, making it infinitely easier to use. Cliff Chase, who's the creator of the axe effects, is scarily dedicated to the product releasing new firmware upgrades every few months for absolutely free. These upgrades come with new amps, features and all kinds. With any other company you know they'd make you buy a whole new piece of hardware for all the new features. Cliff seems content in providing these upgrades to the community is built around the XFX just out of the goodness of his heart. This is a massively refreshing business ethic, which means you're essentially buying all the upgrades that come out in the future as well, making it even better value. The forum on FractalAudio.com is absolutely dedicated to the product, and you can see why. And they act as a fantastic customer service team. If the wiki page they set up doesn't solve your problems, chances are they will. Overall, I bought the XFX hoping that I could finally get a professional sounding guitar tone in my humble home studio, and it has far exceeded my expectations in that respect. The Axe is jam packed with more features than you can shake a multi effects unit shaped stick at. As good, if not better, quality than micing up a real high end guitar amp. Quick to use once you get the hang of it. Constantly being upgraded with new features for free. Supported by a massive community of helpful people. And ridiculously good value for money, even though it's still a little bit pricey. I give the Axe FX Ultra 99%. I'd have given it 100%, but now I'm so spoiled by the amount of features I have access to that I just got annoyed that it didn't also make my coffee. It's products like these that make me love being alive at this time. Think about all those people who've had to spend tens of thousands of pounds on all that gear. And here I am with it in a box that's slightly bigger than an old school VCR. Kinda looks like one too. So in conclusion, if you want professional sounding guitar and have the money, the XFX is for you. This is high-end gear, so if you're still trying to justify the price tag, I guess you need to ask yourself a simple question. Do you want your music to sound professional, or are you content with sounding amateur? 
Hope you enjoyed the review and cheers for watching. For more reviews, tutorials and blogs, head over to boyinaband.com. Have a nice day.